Jigen is one of the main antagonists of Boruto, and also among the most powerful characters in the series to date. Making his debut as early as Boruto Chapter 15, Jigen has sprung forth as the next big villain the Naruto universe. With immense authority, he leads the organization known as Kara which is home to some monstrously strong characters as well. Although their goal is unknown at the moment, Jigen's Kara continues to drive relentlessly towards it, with no apparent force being capable of stopping them. His sheer charisma has certainly drawn the attention of the fans. Here are 10 things that you should know about Jigen. Vessel of Ishiki Otsutsuki. Jigen is the leader of Kara, and as such, it is expected of him to be extremely powerful. In his sparring matches against Kawaki, he displayed his capabilities slightly, but a good chunk of his abilities was focused on in the fight against Naruto and Sasuke. As it turns out, Jigen's source of strength is Ishiki Otsutsuki. Just like Boruto Uzumaki is to Momoshiki, Jigen serves as the vessel of Ishiki Otsutsuki, who is looking for a different vessel now since Jigen is reaching his limit. Jigen and Kawaki. Jigen and Kawaki have a disastrous relationship, with Kawaki openly acknowledging the fact that Jigen has brought him nothing by misery. What's more, in order to turn Kawaki into the next vessel of the Otsutsuki that lies in him, Jigen passed on the marks of the karma to him. Consequently, Jigen and Kawaki are connected at all times now and if the latter goes missing, Jigen can easily track him down as was seen in the recent chapters of Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. The karma. Just like Boruto Uzumaki, Jigen bears the karma on his body as well. While Boruto has one on the palm of his hand, Jigen sports a karma on his chin. Jigen's karma comes from Otsutsuki Ishiki, as opposed to Boruto's coming from Momoshiki Otsutsuki. Whether Jigen fought and defeated Ishiki Otsutsuki or willingly gave his body to him as a vessel is something that remains to be seen. Furthermore, the full extent of his karma's powers hasn't been revealed yet, but what little we've seen so far depicts his monstrous strength in battle quite clearly. Jigen's experiment. Jigen, along with another Kara inner, Amato, have been working long on making a perfect vessel for Otsutsuki Ishiki. The process included 14 boys being guinea pigs for Jigen to pass his karma on to. Surprisingly, the power of the karma was such that it ended up killing most of the boys, with Kawaki, along with another unnamed child, being the only one who survived his horrid ordeal. Following these events, Kawaki was declared as the next vessel for Ishiki, while the fate of the last remaining child is unknown to date. Jigen's Karma Control Being one of the only three people to have access to the karma, Jigen's powers are, undoubtedly, immense. To date, he remains to be the only one in the entire series to have complete control over the karma. Jigen's control over its powers is such that he can also teach its usage to other people, just as he did with Kawaki. In his fight against Naruto and Sasuke, he demonstrated his astonishing power to its maximum. Jigen can also pass his karma on to others, which is something that's unique to him so far. Jigen's Ability being the vessel of Ishiki Otsutsuki, the entity that once partnered Kagaya Otsutsuki, it's no surprise that Jigen possesses some of the most overpowered abilities. According to Sasuke Uchiha, Jigen's karma gives him the power to shrink himself and some objects in his vicinity to microscopic sizes instantaneously, which makes him an especially difficult enemy to beat. Using it in conjunction with his black chakra receivers, Jigen proved to be an impossible enemy to deal with, even for Naruto and Sasuke. Jigen's power level. Being the leader of Kara, Jigen is, undoubtedly, the strongest character in the entire organization. According to Kawaki, Jigen is slightly weaker than Six Paths Naruto Uzumaki, however, his fight with the seventh Hokage proved otherwise. In fact, even with the help of Sasuke Uchiha, Jigen dominated the two in battle and ended up winning quite comfortably. However, he exhausted his entire power source in the process of fighting the two legends from the old era. Jigen's nature. When the Kara boss went to retrieve Kawaki from Naruto's place, he displayed utmost respect to the seventh Hokage. Whether this is a trait of Jigen or Ishiki Otsutsuki is something that's unknown at the moment. 
At the same time, after fighting against Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha, Jigen was noticeably crying for some reason and was, consequently, labeled as pathetic by Ishiki. Kara number. All the members of the Kara seem to possess a specific number which is marked on some part of their bodies. Jigen bears the number 4 under his left eye. What this mark means exactly is unknown, however, it certainly carries some significance. As opposed to Jigen, Delta carries the number 1, while Kawaki carries the number 9. A popular theory suggests that this could well be Boruto's version of the Akatsuki rings. In due time, Ikamoto and Kodachi will likely reveal the meaning behind this mark. Jigen's Genjutsu. Among a plethora of abilities that are accessible to him is a powerful Genjutsu that he uses to communicate with other members of the Kara. This was first noticed when the organization made its first appearance towards the end of the Shoujoji arc of Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. By using his Genjutsu, Jigen can create a simulation-like world where Kara's members are present in holographic forms. This Jutsu works regardless of the distance that is between the people. Furthermore, it is likely to consume large amounts of chakra, although thanks to his stupendously huge chakra reserves, it is potentially not taxing on him.